Hey everybody, welcome to La Cocina de Tawa. Today I'm making beef heart tacos. Yes, you heard me right, beef heart tacos. I've never done this before. I haven't seen a YouTube video on this. So I thought I'll go ahead and give this a try. Um, it didn't come out rubbery. I'll show you how I cooked it. It's very tender, um, a little bit irony, uh, but that's why I made them in tacos so all the flavors I put on there can overcome that a little bit. Uh, but it's really, really, really good. It's very tender, like I said. You're going to love it if you do try this. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right, so here is the beef heart. Um, this weighs close to three pounds, uh, about two of these, close to the same weight. You can see the price there is around $6 or so. Um, so yeah, what I wanna do is kind of butterfly this. I got this idea from um, some YouTube channels that I watch from Argentina. Uh, they're the only country I know, I think Peru does it too, but um, they like to grill their heart, like in skewers or just whole or butterflied. Um, that's the only country I know that in Peru, like I said, that know that, that I know that do this. Um, so I kind of want to replicate it, but do it kind of Mexican style and then, you know, with Mexican flavors and make tacos out of it. So I'm going to try my best to kind of butterfly this. You can pound this out. I didn't do that, uh, but you can try to pound it, at, pound it out flat and with a tenderizer or so. Um, what I did is I made like ha uh, hashtag marks. Um, with the knife and that way the marinade can get in between the meat there a little bit and I'll show you how I did that here in a bit Right, so I'm going to marinate this the way I do carne asada. I'm going to use a lot of citrus. Um, you can use uh, grapefruit, lemon, oranges, and I'm using uh, seasoned salt and garlic powder and just also Worcestershire sauce. Uh, just putting that on first and then putting the seasoning afterwards. That way you can adhere a little bit and try to get into those hashtags that I made there, cross marks. Um, yeah, just go ahead and let this marinate. I've let it marinate for about an hour. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La La casa del merengue, la, 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 y la casa de la bachata. Música, música, te traigo música. 
So to get the flames going after lighting up the, the charcoal and the lump charcoal, um, I'm going to use some hot links. Yeah. So the fat can, can come down and start getting the flames going for the, for the meat. I'm also making this regular carne asada with uh, chuck real steak as well. I'm going to add uh, the heart here first because I believe that will take a little bit longer. It's uh, more thick than the regular chuck real steak. So I'm going to start this off first. Um, as you can see, the flame is really high. It's already, it's already getting going there. So I'm going to let this cook and sear on both sides for about five minutes per, like I said, per side. Once turned over, I'm going to add uh, some citrus. I'm adding here some grapefruit juice, orange juice, and also a little bit of lemon as well. Alright, so here's the heart. It's already done cooking. It was cooking for about 20 minutes. I covered the the lid here of the grill. I had it partially open on the bottom and partially open on top. Covered, like I said, and let it go off for about 20 minutes and it's it's done. I checked it with a knife, little parts here and there, and it was, it was totally cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside, pour some uh, citrus juice on top inside the pan. That way you can just keep it nice and moist. Here is a carne asada, it's just plain chuck real steak. Um, you can use skirt steak if you want, and I use the same marinade as I did for the for the heart. And I'm just gonna let it cook. These cook pretty fast, probably about five minutes per side. And then once you do turn over, just pour some citrus juice on top. So now the meat is done cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, chop this up really, really into tiny pieces. I believe this becomes more tender. It makes it, the meat a little bit more tender, even with kind of salad and stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to cu uh, cut them up in little pieces. 
Um, and yeah, so go ahead. If you have a cleaver, go ahead and use it. I'm going to take this burn piece off here. There you go everybody, here it is, Davos Beef Heart Tacos. Trust me, these came out really good. Like I said, they weren't rubbery, they were just cooked perfectly. Um, yeah, so I hope you give this a try. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, trust me, this, this, uh, I wouldn't totally understand if you didn't want to try this, but it tasted really good. My wife actually loved this more than regular kamisa. I think she's crazy, but, um, which is weird, she's kind of scared of things like this, even the tongue that I made last time. Uh, but yeah, she really loved it. Um, so I'm just putting some garnishes like cilantro, a pico de gallo, and some hot sauce, and some lemon juice. And yeah, buen provecho, go ahead and give this a try. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.